food news and tickling my um, long obsession with this again. Places that I stopped eating at a long time ago. I think what what happens, right? When you're when you like, hmm, what happens? What happens? What happens? What happens? Because I'm an odd bunch. I'm an odd one. I'm a weird one. I don't really like egg and pasta on egg. I don't really like rice and pasta too much, right? I don't really give a shit. I'm not, you know, there's people who really love, love pasta, ca pasta covered with cheese, olive oil, just salt. They, they, they're all over it. Rice, the same thing. White rice, doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? They're all over it. But I don't really have an issue with that sort of stuff. That's not my kind of Achilles heel. Even carbs, bread and shit, I can give that up in a heartbeat. Not, not that big of a deal. The issue I have and what makes me get fat mostly is processed food like shitty stuff like subways fast food stuff like mcdonald's um whatever else it, that may be there and another thing that was really one of my big achilles heels was greg's i had a thing for greg's back in the day that was just insane like that sausage and bean melt like oh was just I love that thing. I used to get that all the time and I'd be upset sometimes I'd go to a Subway. I mean, sorry, to a Greg's. See, I'm, I've got Subway in my brain. I'd go to a Greg's and they wouldn't have it. Um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, um, it'd be kind of cold, basically room temperature wise. And I get sometimes upset. Then I realise that, oh, you could take those home, you fat fuck, and you could oven them yourself. And this is what I started doing. I started buying them, like buying them a lot and then deciding to put them into the oven to kind of heat them up. And then, and then I discovered in Greg's those flipping pizza slices they make, those pepperoni slices, absolutely sublime. And I absolutely rinse them. Like I used to spend a good 10, 20 pounds, or 20 pounds, let's say a good 10 pounds in, in flipping Greg's. And if you've ever been to a Greg's or you know, don't know what a Greg's is, it's basically a breakfast establishment or basically an all day sort of, you know, uh, snack establishment where you can get, you know, like uh, sausage rolls, you can get toasties. You can get, like I said, um, the little pepperoni pizza slices type things. You can get crisps, sandwiches, all that sort of stuff, right? And it's very difficult to spend 20 pounds in those places like that because for the most part, you're buying a meal, right? And then you're also buying maybe a little side thing. So what are you also buying that's going to make up 20 pounds? It's very difficult to do so. And I used to do it easily. So you got, you, you see what my... um what the flip, flip, flipping fat boy inside of me was screaming. But this is interesting news regarding this, again, to tie in with everything that's going on with the pandemic at the moment. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, this hay fever is kicking my ass. So the following. Greg's vegan sausage roll hit by supply chain distribution. Distribution, disruption. I guess you know, learn to read. It continues here. It says, Greg's admitted that its vegan sausage rolls are being hit by supply chain disruption. The bakery chain has already acknowledged that um, it was not immune to the company-wide problems getting goods to shelves. Uh, sorry, economy-wide problems getting new um, goods to shelves. But boss Roger White shared or was a white side declared last month that the sausage roll is safe. But now in response to, imagine putting out in a hat, the sausage roll is safe. But now in response to, or oh, hashtagging that, but now in response to a query from the Reuters news agency, it has said that the temporary interruptions to supplies across the UK included vegan sausage rolls, which were a massive hit. Because if you're not familiar with Greg's, they have this sausage roll, which is pictured above, which looks similar to the vegan anyway. And it's very, 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 very popular. I think it's like a pound, maybe 99p. And people love getting it, you know, for breakfast and shit, or maybe just to eat as a snack. Um, it's probably one of the better sausage rolls that you're going to get from like a store, especially one that's been pre-made. Um, and then over time, they decided to dip their toes into the vegan um, side of things. And they made the vegan sausage roll, which is as good, if not better than the sausage one. But the only issue is if you're an actual vegan going to a greg's to go eat vegan food makes doesn't make sense to me because i would imagine there's a lot of cross cross contamination that exists in there i'm not you know i don't i don't doubt for one minute that the guys and girls who work there you know are, are going to be really really keeping an eye on what utensils they're using to pick up the vegan and non-vegan stuff but maybe i'm wrong it continues um, some shops um, may not have had no some some shops may not have have not may not have them or may not have them uh, throughout the day it varies the spokesman said it's true the vegan sausage roll with corn filling was launched in 2019 has become a popular meat-free alternative to the chain's traditional sausage roll or steak and chicken bakes okay is that the most popular ones there i didn't know that so sausage rolls popular and then steak and chicken bakes they're not that great the chicken one is a bit ugh, makes you want to throw up after a while chicken the chicken bake is like um is equivalent to like a meatball sandwich. You know what I mean, 
they're good at, after the they they're pretty nice at the first bite, but then by the time you get to the second and the third, you're already feeling a bit queasy. It continues, supply chain disruptions have taken its toll across the economy with the impacts of the COVID-19 and Brexit blamed for shortages of lorry drivers to transport goods around the world as well as workers in meat processing factories. It has led to a reduced availability of some products from supermarkets such as Morrison's to fashion retailers including Primark as well as chicken shortages in Nando's. Oh yeah, true. People are suffering for the chicken out there. Greg's was... Um, Greg, which has recovered well after trading was severely disrupted during the pandemic lockdowns, first acknowledged in August that it was feeling the impact of the crisis with some products containing chicken missing from shelves. Last month, speaking after the company issued a statement, um, it's a trading update. Mr. Whiteside said the following, um, I wake up every morning and find out what's short that day because something has been disrupted. There's something different going on every day with something different item. And that's him, Roger Whiteside, right? Imagine you're working in Greg's as a flipping weekend staff guy and this guy comes strolling and ready to take some pictures. Because usually what happens, if you're, trust me, I've worked service industry jobs before on this level, working behind a till and shit in a cafe and whatnot. Usually they don't tell you when these guys are coming in, right? They, they, you guys are lowly, low level people. They don't let you know, especially if you've got a crappy manager that doesn't pass on a message. So you're minding your business, I don't know, catching your friends up with whatever ketamine escapade you get up to on the weekend, talking about some girl you smashed, some guy you kissed, whatever you're talking some flagrant stuff on a shop floor whilst no one's there and then little do you know some guy walks up behind you who looks like that no one tells you who he is and then you know little do you know later on that he was not only the mystery shopper he was also the flipping chairman of the fucking company do you know what I mean or in this case the ceo you're like no i really need this 7.99 or this 7.50 or this seven pound exactly per hour job please don't fire me i need this i need the discounts too it continues, but he added the sausage roll is safe. It's one thing that we haven't got short of. However, Reuters reported that he had spotted number of stores in London that were out of vegan sausage rolls in the first half of the week. Bruv, I spoke earlier about the marine biologist that has to flip in, analyze, um, you know, Subway sandwiches to ascertain whether or not they have tuna in them. Imagine being a journalist and you're having to flip and go to Greg's to inspect whether or not they have fucking chicken or meat products on their shelves to add to your story about flipping supply chain disruptions. Like that is the height of like, let me give up my career and become some sort of flipping you know, star and only fans or something like that's just simply it's not worth it. If that's what you're going to go journalism school to do to inspect the shelves of a fucking Greg's, it's not worth it. But again, what do I know? 